pause the lecture for a second. Amy's about to blow an epic bubble. Ugh, oh, false alarm. Uh-oh, teacher alert. Mind if I take a look at your notes, Amy? Wow, look how messy and unkempt your notebook pages are. How does this even happen anyway? What a shame. What about your notebook, Lily? Why, it's just as perfect as you, isn't it? A plus as usual. Hey, how do you keep your notebook so neat like that? Looks like we have a nifty paper hack on our hands. Wanna drop some knowledge on us, Lily? You can make your own page protector at home. Simply fold a square of paper in hand, matching corner to corner like this. Keeping the paper folded, take one corner and match it with the one up top. Do the same thing to the other side. Once you solidify the creases, unfold the corners. Match the top corner to the bottom and press down the fold. Next, tuck each corner into the pocket you've just made. Be sure the edges are tucked all the way in, as deep as possible. Turn the piece upside down so the folded part is farthest away from you. On the first folded corner, draw a shape that looks like a closed eye with lashes. With different colored paper, create fringe and glue it on the fold, like so. Add the sparkly horn and you've got yourself a paper unicorn. Now you can keep the pages from your books and folders from curling. So cute! Thanks for the great tip, Lily! Can't imagine going through a full day without your favorite bubblegum? Then you probably already know that chomping on this stuff during class can be super tricky. Yes, my favorite flavor! One, two, three, blow! Gah! Jeez, Lily, you really startled me. And if you give me a piece of your gum, all will be forgiven. Kevin! You can't just steal my gum like that! If you're in need of a gum disguise, the answer might be right under your nose. If you have a boxy highlighter lying around, grab a blade and cut off its plastic tip. Next, snag some hot glue and put it onto the tip you just cut. Now stick it onto the end of your favorite pack of gum. If you can print the highlighter's logo onto the corresponding color, you've got yourself a secret gum dispenser. No one will ever know that while you're highlighting your important notes, you're also indulging in bubblegum. We'll just keep it our little secret, okay? Hey, Lily, are you chewing gum? Where is it, though? I don't see any on your desk. That's because it's all stashed in her highlighter. Sorry, Kevin. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Another day, another difficult math test. But as if the equations weren't hard enough, a broken calculator can take things from bad to worse. Ugh, what's wrong with this thing? What the heck? It was working yesterday. It probably just needs a new battery. Let's see, I can just replace it and it'll all be good. Oh no, I totally brought the wrong size battery. I can't believe this! What do I do? Ooh, that's a bummer, isn't it? Hey Lana, check out the gum wrapper Lily's holding. Do you think it could help? Hey, give me that! Huh? If you find yourself in a battery jam like Lana here, all hope is not lost. Simply take a foil gum wrapper like this one and crumple it up into a ball. And make sure the foil part is facing the outside. Put the wrapper against the metal coil like this. Now stick the battery against the foil as if it were the regular coil. Here comes the moment of truth. Yes, we have power, people! Phew, I was pretty worried for a minute there. Who knew my piece of gum would save the day? Whoa, Lily. I sure hope you're wearing a seatbelt on that ride. Hey, my book! Oh man, I totally lost my place. Thanks a lot, Lily. Yikes, feel bad yet, Lily? Well, there may be a way to make it up to her. And all you need is a paper clip. Take a regular paper clip like this one and bend the ends up and inward. See how it kind of looks like an X? Once you've done one, you can do the same thing to other paper clips of different colors. Aw, they're so cute! Hey, Amy, check this out. With this little guy, you'll never lose your place again. Aw, it looks like a little heart! Yes, I'm off the hook. And I made some extras for myself, too. Ugh, <sighs> glad I remembered to lock my stuff in my locker. That backpack was getting heavy. Hey, I totally forgot I had this in my pocket. An entire foot of delicious bubblegum goodness. That's about to be covered in dirt on the floor. Quick, Kevin, catch it before it falls! No! My gum! Gross. Unless you like lint hair and questionable brown stuff, this gum is ruined. 
Yikes, that's pretty disgusting. What the heck happened to that thing? Ew, get it out of my face! What do you need with my tape? You'll see. Did you know a tape dispenser can serve as a drop-free gum holder? Step one, make the thing look a little less like a tape dispenser with some fun paint. It looks pretty good so far. Now all you have to do is stick your foot of gum in there. Hey Lily, what's up? Hello Kevin, now can I have the gum you promised me? Are you talking about this? Huh? Here, take off a piece. And you get the perfect size every time. Aw, look at these students hard at work. But nothing can spoil good workflow like an empty glue bottle. Come on, there's gotta be something left in this thing. Ugh, Amy's totally wasting her time. Okay, hand it over. You just need a man's strength to get this stuff out, trust me. Okay, just give me a minute here. <clears throat> Mission major muscle strength, now commencing. Still… squeezing… Okay, there's gotta be a better way to do this. I know there's still glue in here. Oh, that glue is ready to come out and it is angry! Oh man, I just wanted a glob, not full-on glue hands! Well, that's some man strength for ya. If your glue caps are getting clogged up with dried glue, put them in a bowl and give them a little bath. Pour regular old oil on all the caps, making sure they're completely submerged. Now let them soak for a while so the glue can get loosened. Now with a napkin, wipe off each cap one at a time. See? No nasty glue crust in sight. Finally, no more pressurized glue mishaps to worry about when you're working on your next masterpiece. Just clean, streaming glue. Right where you need it. Ugh, man, I thought that glue was never gonna get off my hands. No! Get that evil thing away from me! Psst, Lily. Huh? Kevin has red nails? I've gotta see this! Okay, I'd better put this thing away before the teacher sees. <laughs> oh no! Everyone's gonna see all my notes! This can't seriously be happening. Well, well, what do we have here? Are these notes? Let's read one, shall we? The teacher has a funny hairstyle? Well, you stay up all night grading papers and see what you look like in the morning. Out of all my notes, I can't believe she read that one. Toting around sensitive material, take a notebook and cut some paper that measures at half its size. Now take a glue stick and make the sides sticky. Flip the paper over and press it down on the lower half of the booklet. Be sure to press it down with your fingers to make sure it's secure. Once that's done, find some decorative tape and design it however you like. We chose hearts to put at the top border of the pocket. Don't forget to tuck in the ends! Wow, check out this handy note pocket. Hey Amy, got another note for me? Now you never have to worry about unfortunate spills again. Ah, another day, another fun project. Hey, what's the matter with these? Why aren't they cutting? There's nothing quite as frustrating as a pair of dull, weak scissors. Psst, Sophia, can I borrow those scissors? Please? Hmm, don't think so. <sighs> that Sophia can be such a snob. Okay, so how am I going to tackle this? Well, I do have these two mm. rulers. Maybe these can work. Take two rulers like these and crisscross them like two blades of a pair of scissors. Start cutting paper with them, pushing them up and down as you go down the page. Whoa, how did you do that? It really does work! All it takes is a little creativity and making use of what's around you. Now that's what you'd call crafty. Oh.